Traveling the world for gold Some baddies made of plastic And some other things I love Won't you come along with me There's no time for rejection Hold on tight, such a delight It's Brian's Wrestling Collection Collection Me, 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 me What's up guys? It's Brian Hardy with Brian's Wrestling Collection. Check it out. Today I'm going to do something really cool on this episode. I'm going to show you guys what's in this Detoff over here because I've done a ton of unboxings before we even started this channel. So last episode you saw me unbox the Bone Crunching Action Signature Series 1 Road Warrior Hawk, Road Warrior Animal, the Legion of Doom. That was a lot of fun. Uh, on this episode, you're going to see what's inside of this detox so far, and uh, let's check it out. Okay, so today we're going to start off with uh, what we got going on up here in the back. You can see there's some ECW original San Francisco toy maker figures. There's Guido back there, and Axel, and then all down this wall here we've got uh, different ECW original San Francisco toy maker figures. I'm collecting those right now. Uh, we have... Original San Francisco Toy Makers, Nasty Boys, Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sags in the black shirts. Uh, Alex Wright up there. My Big Show Honeycombs box. Gotta have my honeycombs. Uh, Craig Pittman. And so far I just got those the other day. We got uh, some... LJN figures. This is just restarting my collection. So I've bought and sold figures over the years uh, like crazy. That's what you do when you have kids. Because um, if I didn't have kids, which I, I don't regret my children in the slightest, but if I didn't have kids, I'd probably have like one of the largest withstanding wrestling collections ever. Uh, no joke, but you know, times get tough. Uh, you run out of money and sometimes you do what you gotta do for your, for your family. As I used to tell people, you can't eat an action figure and you can't eat a guitar. Anyway, this is the LJN collection. This is kinda cool. This is like, uh, there's the uh, the British Bulldogs who are two of my favorites. You got Terry Funk back there, Big John Stud. You got Magnificent Morocco, JYD. Uh, Greg Valentine, you got Tito Santana, Bob Orton. Uh, Iron Sheik, Nikolai Volkov, Billy Jack Haynes, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Andre the Giant with the long hair, uh, Bruno San Martino, and Hillbilly Jim. So that's my start of my LJN collection again, my, my new build of LJNs. Alright, on this shelf we kind of have like some miscellaneous stuff. Uh, we have some, I'm restarting, like I said, my whole entire collection, so... I've got some uh, bone crunching action figures here in the front, Jerry Lawler, which is my favorite. Uh, we unboxed uh, Hulk and Animal on the last show, which I do remember getting that exact Hulk and Animal for my eighth birthday. So every figure that I have pretty much has some type of story with it. I just don't have the original figure from when I was younger because I gave my buddy, my old drummer's little brother, thousands and thousands and thousands of wrestling figures, not even joking. Uh, for free. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of crazy back in the day. So anyway, we've got a uh, Vince McMahon Royal Rumble exclusive figure here. Uh, you can see from the mic stand there, the, the Raw's War ones there. Uh, the Steve Austin Royal Rumble is somewhere. I think it's like here. I don't want to mess this up and knock a bunch of figures over, but yeah. Boom. This was 1999. No chance in hell. It was actually a mail away if you if you uh, mailed in your, your cable bill saying that you got the pay-per-view, uh, then they sent you a Vince McMahon and Steve Austin. Unfortunately, I didn't get that. One of my best friends did when I, when I was younger, but because I stayed at his house for the pay-per-view. But now as an adult, I found him in a toy store, so I snagged up on him. Uh, we got Steve Austin in his first figure right there with his original gear. 
Mankind, The Rock. Like I said, I'm just grabbing a bunch of stuff at random. You got some AWA Remco's in the back there. Rick Martell, Larry Zbysko, Greg Gagne, Rick Flair, Jimmy Garvin. Uh, random Alberto Del Rio figure. I saw it. It was like in mint condition the other day in the toy store, so I just picked it up. Uh, same thing with that CM Punk. Got an Owen Hart and the Danger outfit back there. James E. Cornette. Then these, this line of figures was so cool. This, uh, it was the Wrestling Superstore figures from 2000. Uh, Jimmy Valiant right there, handsome Jimmy Valiant. Uh, Iron Sheik. I actually want to get this entire series again. Uh, I just think it would be amazing to have every single one of them, bloody and unbloody. So I'm working on that next. And then in the back here, I don't know if I can get this without knocking into this. Sorry about everything over here too. My wife has like tons of stuff on her side of the office. I've got guitar cases and a little bit of an Elvis Honky Tonk Man collection going on over there. Nikolai Volkov, bendy figure, signed by Nikolai. Super cool, I got the picture. Uh, as people know, Nikolai was a very close person to my family, so. Uh, it was crazy that uh, right before he had passed, the last time I saw him, I got him to sign that. So, something that I hold near and dear to my heart and hope that I don't ever have to get rid of it. Okay, so on this shelf, we've got uh, some WCW glue figures with this. Uh, this was like the best title that was made. It's not even in mint condition, but it's just great. I love it. It's the uh, NWA TNA uh, title came with Jeff Jarrett and some others, I believe Christian. Um, but I like taking that belt and putting it on the glutes just because it, it's awesome. So, I mean, I put it on any figure, to be honest. It's my, one of my favorite belts. But uh, I have most of the glue collection from the regular series, not the UK series. And um, the only person I'm missing from the regular series is uh, Butch Reed. So anybody out there that has a Butch Reed in like close to mint condition or good enough condition, slide into my DMs and let me know how much you want for it and we'll rock that out. A lot of these are in really good condition. I bought uh, quite a bit of these from a convention in Philadelphia that I was at a while ago doing a signing. Uh, but I love those figures. These original San Francisco Toymaker figures are cool too, the little minis, uh, where they tried to like replicate the Galoob size figures, and that was pretty cool. So I got quite a bit of those uh, started to collect again. Then in the back here, you've got Kevin and Carrie Von Eric and the Texas Tornado figure as well. Uh, they go for a lot of money on eBay right now, so I told my son the other day, like, he had them down in his room, and they were just, like, sitting there, like, in a bin full of thousands of figures that he has downstairs, and I was like, put those up in the glass case, because they are worth, like, serious cash, so. Uh, and then in the back, I got these last week, Harlem Heat, Booker T, Stevie Ray in the purple, WCW, uh, original San Francisco Toymaker figures. Love those. I want to get them in the red and in the black outfits as well. And we'll slide right down here. Boom, we got some of the bigger uh, original San Francisco Toy Maker figures that match the tiny ones here. You got the giant, you got the big giant, you got the little giant. Um, so I'm starting to get a couple of these together. And then as well as the WCW vibrating figures, which I don't know if this one even works. Not really. The other one, I know a couple of them did uh, when I just got those the other day. I just got those as well. I got the Sting, I got the Giant, Lex Luger, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and Chris Benoit. I kept Benoit in the package back there, um, and he does still work. Uh, and then I've got Knobs and Sags, uh, which is kind of funny because on the package, uh, Knobs, it says Jerry Sags, and Sags says Brian Knobs, so... Little mistake by WCW and original San Francisco toy makers back then. Um, but those figures are awesome. I love them. It reminds me of my childhood. And I plan on getting the other two Nasty Boys uh, sets as well in the orange and in the green. So I'm working on it, working on it, working on it a little bit of time. Just really, really, really started heavily getting into figure collecting again. So this is what I have to start out with. So. Yep, we're one detail in, and uh, it will just keep getting more and more organized as I get more and more figures. 
Uh, I've pretty much been trying to, I mean, order at least a few a week. So uh, we're going to one of my favorite toy stores down here in Glen Burnie called Second Chance Toys, and I get them. These are cool. I got these from Mexico. Um, they are El Santo and Blue Demon Jr. I do have a Blue Demon Jr. tattoo on my leg. It's pretty cool. Uh, one time when I was on Monday Night Raw wrestling the Viking Raiders, uh, Adam Pierce actually stopped me in mid lockup and was like, he can't work here. He's got a Blue Demon Jr. tattoo. And then he was like, just kidding. I love Blue Demon Jr. So, uh, yeah, I got a bunch of different random posters around here. I'll take you on a tour of all that stuff one day. But that's just the current action figure selection that I have. I, uh, I have a few more over here in this area. Uh, I've got uh, just had Sandman come in, Lance Storm, Chris Candido. I'm really trying to get the entire ECW line uh, again. It was just such a big part of my childhood, so we'll work on getting those down the line again as well. This is my favorite ECW figure of all time, Mike Awesome. Um, I hope to get my hands on another one uh, because as a kid it was one of my favorite figures and I'd like to pull it out of the package and describe what I like about it to you guys one time on maybe an unboxing, but this figure itself cost me close to $100 on eBay, and that's that's what they're going for right now at the moment, and uh, I just love this figure. Like, it's I can't wait to get a protection case for all these, uh, but they're awesome. So, I got this Tommy Dreamer one, I think that was Series 3 pretty sure which was random like why did you put him in a yellow shirt I know a million people have said that RVD with the television title this was a great figure I can remember getting that for like Christmas in 1999 uh, along with like Sabu and Candido and stuff just incredible that was his first figure and uh, Devon Dudley and Bubba Ray those were such a big deal when I was younger because by the time the figures were released, they were already in WWF, which is WWE. Uh, I got Cheek and Zack Ryder up there. My son and I recently just uh, sold our entire uh, retro line that we had out of the package uh, to the toy store in exchange for store credit for other stuff that we got. Um, but we plan on getting the entire series of the Mattel retros back in the package like that. So. That's the start of it. So I know what you guys are thinking. Pretty cool stuff, right? I think so. That's why I collect it. So like I said, if I would have held on to all the stuff that I had as a kid, I would have like one of the biggest wrestling collections of all time right now. Unfortunately, like I said, life has a way of catching up to people in different ways. Not afraid to admit it. And over the years, I've sold off hundreds upon thousands of items that I had had. So it's just rebuilding, uh, watching a lot of YouTube videos and things like that has motivated me to want to really start a really large collection again. And I'm a musician as well as a professional wrestler, so I'm constantly traveling, playing shows and doing things like that and finding all of this cool stuff around the United States. I'm also an eBay addict, so it doesn't help that like I've got a bazillion items in my watch list all the time, so constantly, weekly, just getting new stuff in. So. It's cool. As long as my wife doesn't kill me and she's cool with it and my kids support it, then I'm down with it. But I know people have been asking, what is the best part of your collection so far? Well, I said the Mike Awesome figure was my favorite, but I honestly have to say that my favorite thing in my collection at the moment is my brand new Brian Hardy Gator Buddy. That's right. My Gator did an amazing job on this. Man, freaking awesome. Uh, and they will be available for purchase soon. Uh, so we're working out the details on that right now. But man, like they got my tattoos, like literally. Like this is insane. There's my grandparents right there. Like they got that. They even got that. Like this is nuts. Such a great job. Uh, Got the Maryland Wrestling Federation title right there. Pretty cool MWF. That was the company that me and my wife had for years and years and years that we're hoping to revive one day. Just maybe shortly. Boom over there. Check that out. Bam. Such a cool, 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 cool piece. 
they just did amazing. So, uh, Brothers Gator on Instagram, amazing, 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 just such a cool piece, and, uh, He's actually about to make me like a ton of other cool customs like Terry Funk and Harley Race and all that good stuff. Speaking of Terry Funk, did you guys see the Terry Funk shirt I got from Pro Wrestling Tees? Awesome! I know I posted a photo the other day wearing my Eddie Gilbert shirt. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be getting a ton of that cool stuff into uh, sometime soon. So anyway, we got a ton of cool stuff. My cousins just dropped off belts for me and my son. We got the smoking skull. We've got... Uh, the old like world heavyweight WCW big gold title. We got the uh, winged eagle belt So much stuff just laying around here. We've got T-shirts Andre the giant and macho man. I love this shirt I couldn't throw it away because I actually filmed if you go online and check out uh, My music video for my song called Redondo Beach search Brian Hardy Redondo Beach I'm wearing this t-shirt in the music video. It's so cool. So tons of other stuff cups masks, autographs, I mean, you name it, it's all around here. So uh, one day, when it's all organized and we have more time, I'm gonna break it down, show you guys a cool tour of the entire place and eight by tens and everything else. I've had a really blessed life. Uh, times have been hard, like I said, at, at times, but uh, times have also been pretty amazing. So I've got a lot of stuff that other people don't have or couldn't get their hands on as well. So. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe to Brian's Wrestling Collection on YouTube. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.